Today, we are going over Trihackme's new certification, PT1, which, if you can't tell from the acronym, stands for Penetration Testing, aka a Red Team Certification from Trihackme. So, just to be clear, Trihackme, generously sponsoring this video. Thank you very much. But I will be sure to give my honest review and all opinions are my own. So once again, sponsored by Trihack Me, but Maddie's opinions. What is the PT1? PT1 is a very, very hands-on certification, um, which we'll get to more in a minute. So the certification is mainly designed for aspiring pen testers and junior level practitioners who want to either prove their skills or break into cybersecurity or a mix of both, wherever you're at. Um, I mean, anyone can take the certification. So it says, the Junior Penetration Tester PT1 certification is an entry-level hands-on and built by industry experts. Demonstrate real-world adversarial thinking, validate your offensive skills, and kickstart your career. And if you know me, you know my stance on multiple choice certification tests, which I don't like them. And multiple choice does not prove or does not showcase your ability to actually do the job. Multiple choice tests just show that you know how to memorize things and just take a multiple choice test. Multiple choice test and multiple choice certifications do not prove that you are job ready, that you have implemented the theory you have learned. You guys know my stance on multiple choice test, which I'm very, very glad this is not multiple choice at all. It is all practical and practical is good. So this is kind of a preview of what the exam will look like. You have to go through a full engagement, which does include Active Directory, network, and web app pen testing. Then formulate your report. I would recommend writing the report as you progress through the engagement, um, just so you have more time and kind of have everything organized. But that's just how I like to do it. The exam is 48 hours. So make sure you have good time management and can a lot dedicated time um, to this exam because it is simulating a real world environment, a real world engagement. So you do have 48 hours to complete the exam. Do not treat this exam like a CTF. You actually have to use your brain a lot in this exam because with CTFs, if you've taken a CTF, the answers are kind of more so clear and more so, oh, I see this vulnerability. I do X, Y, Z, get the flag. I, I have the flag, I'm done. Um, but this certification, as it mimics real world scenarios, um, it is a lot more in depth and a lot more less straightforward than a CTF, I will say that which is a very good thing. You don't want your professional certification being like a CTF, the flags being obvious. You don't have to use your brain and think like a real pen tester, which this one definitely proves that you know how to think like a pen tester, write reports like a pen tester, pen test like a pen tester. Um, it is a very well-rounded cert. And with the AD pen testing, Active Directory, network pen testing, web app pen testing. Um, it is very in-depth. For example, you're going to be using tools like Burp Suite, Metasploit, Nmap, um, things like that. But you're going to really need to know how to use these tools and how to exploit these vulnerabilities. Like, for example, you can't just load up a Metasploit module and just throw a payload at it. Um, it's a lot more in-depth. You have to use your brain a lot. Then key skills evaluated in Trihackme PT1, which I literally just mentioned, which I think is one of the most important skills 
um, you can learn besides actually doing the pen test is the pen tester mindset. Think like an attacker to anticipate threats and identify vulnerabilities before they're exploited. And key skills also foundational cybersecurity, cybersecurity offensive frameworks, OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities, privilege escalation, report writing, and pen tester mindset. So all very good skills to have. And with the higher emphasis on report writing, you really can't go wrong. I feel like report writing is really underlooked sometimes because people just want to go straight into the pen testing, but report writing, very important. And this certification will definitely have you report writing, that's for sure. So this certification is really for, you know, aspiring pen testers, um, red team, blue team, any SOC analyst who want to see things from the pen testing side of things, um, which I would recommend blue team do. And I would recommend red team do blue team things as well, which TriHack Me also has something called Sal1, which is a blue team SOC analyst certification. So if you want to do both, I would, I would recommend seeing both sides of the coin, as they say. So my opinion, I would say the pros of the certification would be it is actually applicable and you're actually doing things, which is always good. There's literally like no multiple choice questions, which the less multiple choice questions a cybersecurity certification has, the better, especially with pen testing. I know some well-known pen testing certifications just have multiple choice in like three really simple CTF style performance-based questions, which does not mimic the real world at all. On the flip side, AKA a con, this certification as of now, is not industry recognized. So hiring managers, um, automated things that scan your resume are not going to be looking for this certification. So in getting this certification, when you get interviews, um, and in finding a job, you will definitely have to explain what this is, what you do, um, explain that it's actually applicable and you've actually done pen testing on simulated real world environments, which if anyone technical is interviewing you, they will definitely appreciate. But yes, that would be the only downside in my opinion. I would couple this with a more well-known industry certification. Um, just so you can get your resume through hiring managers and then get to talk to the technical people once you get the interview and kind of explain what this is and explain that it's actually legit. Um, but yeah, I would definitely just couple this with another certification. Like I say, the industry recognized certifications are kind of outdated and they don't prepare you for a job. The PT1, modern, you're actually doing things. You're actually pen testing AD, network, web app. So yeah, it's unfortunate that it is not industry recognized yet. But until it is industry recognized, get one of the certs that get you past HR and then couple it with this one. So some helpful prerequisites before taking the exam, uh, completing the learning on Try Hack Me. Uh, mainly, I would recommend the junior penetration tester path. Just go through all that. Um, do some CTFs on here. If you've never done a CTF before, just do, just practice practical stuff before attempting the certification. 
I do have a link in my bio that takes you straight to the PT1 certification if you want to take it. And TryHackMe is offering a limited time discount. And good news is you don't need to install anything. They have all the VMs, all everything set up within the exam environment. So all you got to do is click the button, uh, verify your ID, verify you are who you say you are, and then everything's there and you just have to complete everything in the in the exam environment. So with that, that is my review of TryHackMe's PT1. Final words, I would definitely recommend the certification. It's very practical. You have to have the pen tester's mindset. You really have to think about things. It's not just very straightforward like most CTFs. And once this bad boy gets industry recognized, it will be a very happy day. And if you want 25% off PT1, I have a link in the description that'll take you to the homepage where you can get 25% off the PT1 certification. So I leave you with that. Make sure to like, subscribe, punch all the buttons in the face, and I will see you in the next video.